Thanks, thanks for joining me. It is Friday the 11th of August 2023. Yeah, I'm just here in the studio. As usual, I've been actually making a few changes in my pottery setup. I moved my wheel. So, you know, sometimes it's a good idea to make a few changes in your setup. Uh, if you find you're in the pottery doldrums a bit sometimes, which happens to all of us, sometimes it's a good idea to, first of all, have a clean up um, and then maybe make some improvements or some changes or put up a picture on the wall or do something. Anyway, I've moved my wheel. It's now facing outward again. <laughs> For the longest time I had it sort of straight on here facing the wall because I had my my technology up there in front of me so I could do zoom etc um, yeah yeah have a go at doing that have a clean up and it's not sometimes it's a you know it's a good idea because you get sort of stuck sometimes in a you sort of feel like uh, you know you sort of have these negative thoughts like I'm no good as a potter should I give it up <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, that's that's all right. I've already passed that stage, but I mean, um, just got to screw this thing here on the bottom of the camera. Yeah, I'm just actually making, have been making some um, a style of tea bowl. Um, with the seashell impression and I thought I'd just bring you in on it I've done some more here just done these ones um, so you may notice that there's a slight sort of wave to the uh, undulation in, in the wall of the pot there I don't know if you can see that but so I'm going to show you how to do that. Maybe you already know, I don't know. Little pot here, which is going to be for sale. I'm um, going to be making... You may have noticed I've been uh, doing these um, YouTube shorts of late and I've just sort of sold a few pots by using that method. So maybe later maybe tomorrow that one will appear as a video short if you're interested go there you get the details of that um yeah so let's set up the camera here we have some clay already prepped it is a beautiful let me just get this right it's a beautiful um afternoon yeah Whoa. yeah these are these are uh, 12 ounces no 14 ounces sorry 14 ounces yeah so I'll just show you I'll make one and then I'll, I'll make two um, I'll show you how I do it so I use a seashell um, and you can always um, use things to impress into the size of your pots. Uh, can be quite effective, can be quite nice, if that's something that you like. You know, there's ways of um, attacking the surface of a pot. You know, we can do it while the clay is wet, we can do it when it's leather hard, we can do it when it's bone dry you know in using different methods so this is a wet method you could say and um, yeah just breaking in here don't have your wheel going too fast I don't recommend for doing this kind of pot nice sort of gentle speed So just pull the clay up like this, you see. 
in the usual way. Da 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 dee. So when I sort of somewhat pulled it, maybe three quarters pulled it, I'm now going to get down to the bottom of the pot as I would normally. And I'm going to, as I do the, my lift, I'm going to, my, my fingers are going to, this is exaggerated, but I'm just doing it to show you so you, you get the idea. My fingers are going to be going like this as I come up the pot, okay? They're going to be going in and out, in and out, in and out, like this. Sounds pretty weird, Simon. Oh, yeah, I know. But look, just watch, you'll see. Okay, so we start at the bottom here, and now I'm pulling... So basically what I've done is apply, apply pressure, release, apply pressure, release, like this. So what that does is, of course, when you apply pressure, it thins the pot at that point. When you release it, it sort of goes back to normal sort of thing. Going to do another, another pull like that. And that'll be it. Don't, don't have the wheel going too fast, just nice and slow. Okay, feel, now apply pressure. Uh, 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 uh. All the way up like this, you see, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. It, it does take a certain confidence and I wouldn't recommend it for beginners particularly. But you could have a go. So, so what I'm trying to achieve is a sense of, are we in the picture? I'm looking out on the sea, I'm looking out on the ocean, and I'm looking at the the ripples in the in the water you know and of course now we're going to add a seashell to that yeah that's so we're going to take a just just clean it off and I'm impressing it three times so I'm going to put my ha hand on the inside, opposite where I'm going to push it, and I'm going to, you see, up, I'm going to push it there. So apply pressure, pushing against my hand, roll it a bit, and away, like that. Once, two, three, another one about here. Push in, roll it, and out. And one more time, push in, roll and out. Okay, now I'm going to, the top now is all bent out of shape, of course, that does happen. But we don't worry about that because we are potters. <laughs> we are not daunted. Okay, something like that. Take your chamois leather. Now don't worry about the pot looking a little bit organic and a little bit... You want the pot to, you know, go for a walk along the beach, you know, and you go looking for seashells and stones and things like that, you know. This is the sort of stone or pot you're going to find on a beach, you know. It isn't going to be... 100% sort of symmetrical in every aspect, you know, it's going to be a little bit, it's going to be a bit organic, you know. That's the, that's, that's the nature, you know, of these kind of pots. Okay, we've done everything, 
we'll just wet our fingers and cut him off I should say first then wet our fingers and lift okay there he is okay put him down there all right I'll bring the camera down so you can have a look at that you know you you like the details yeah last video I did uh, yesterday or the day before whenever it was I um yeah it was it was this one here on the end I did uh, yeah I had the radio playing a bit in the background you know a bit of Pandora music coming out and of course the video got flagged and I wasn't allowed to to show it to you all publicly so to speak uh, let me see if I move this tripod business to right here trying to give you a bird's eye view what I'm doing um, let me just get you in there I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing here you see hopefully I won't get my head in the way okay 14 ounces Yay! 14 ounces of clay. Are we there? Are we there? Yeah, we are. Okie dokie. Right, so. A bit of hard clay there. Okay, so. Yeah, when you're when you're when you're centering a lump of clay, you know, if you can if you can cone it up, you see, grip the pot with this part of your hand here, and then just and just pull upwards, and now center down. Something like that. And then take your thumb, put your thumb there, so you center the clay right at the base. Good tip that. Remember your pot begins at the base, so you don't want the top part of the pot on center, but the base here where it joins the wheel head is all sort of going like this. You don't want that. All right, so. Just pulling up here. Dee, 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 dee. Getting underneath the clay here, you see. And now, just, yeah, just let it just ease the clay up like that. Pull it up, nice and easy. A little bit of water. See now, just notice my wheel speed. It's pretty slow, isn't it? You guys with electric wheels out there, ah, you need to lift your foot off the accelerator pedal a little bit, you know. Speed kills. <laughs> okay, so now this is what I wanted to show you. Okay, I'm going to go down the bottom here. I've got to try and get my head out of the way, but I'm going to, I'm going to. See my hands, how they're going in and out like that. So you get a sort of, uh, 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 the outside of the pot looks a bit, not exactly smooth, but that's okay, we don't, we don't want it really smooth. Let's see if I can just move this camera even a little bit further around. Right now, one last pull, getting down the bottom here. You see, you can see, can you see the C there? Can you see the, 
of the waves. Can you see the reflections on the water there? Put the stick in down there. Also try to make sure you're getting the form of the pot, not just the surface that we're talking about, but you know the surface, the surface texture, but the actual sh general shape of the pot. Also, we want to make sure that that is as we want it. You know. All right. Now we're going to take that shell. Yeah, best best to just clean it between operations, you know. Okay, and you take your hand, put your hand on the inside like this, okay? Not like this, like that. So you're gonna, because the back of your hand, you see, the back of your hand will form a natural, a natural curve, whereas that will is not a curve. It's a curve going the other way. So you want it like that. We can take this now, and we're going to. Put my hand in and take that there. Decide where it's going to go. It's going to go there. Okay. I push in and then roll it sort of upwards and away. It's rocket science. <laughs> Real rocket science. Okay. Push, roll, up. Now it's important you wet you wet the thing you're using to impress with, okay? Because if you don't, the chances are the wet pot will stick to it and pull a chunk out of the side, and then you will have a hole. Trust me, I have done it. Okay, there it is. Start like that. Push, roll, uh, and up. There it is. Now you see, you see, can you see, you see the top of the pot there's all bent out of shape. So yeah, I mean we don't want to have it sort of roundish, you know, but it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be perfectly round, but it, we just want to get it just nice. We've also got to bear in mind, this is a tea bowl, we're going to be drinking out of it, you see. So you want to have it. Um, yeah, they're very, very, very slightly flared, just on the edge there, because that's more user-friendly for drinking purposes. If you can slightly flare the, all right. Now we're going to take the leather. Yeah, that's it. Okay, take your cut off wire. As you take it, clean it. Hold it taut and pull it like that with the wheel going round always. Okay, now you can wet your fingers like that and lift him on. And put him now down over here. So, yep. Just show you that one. So there's that one on the end here that we just did. All right. In the next video, I'll be trimming. I'll be trimming these. Yep. So, let's get this back on the tripod. Yeah, go to my website, uh, simonhpottery.com. Um, yes, uh, 
I've got to get more pots up there, there's not enough at the minute. Uh, I've got the pots here, it's just that, they, that I just don't manage to get them up onto the onto the uh, so basically I'm a lousy salesperson. <laughs> I need to take some photographs and get them on the website. Yes. Stop pro procrastinating, do it. Yeah, I know. So expect some more pots, I'm going to get some up. Meanwhile, this little guy will be up here as, as a video short on YouTube. You can check him out, he'll be for sale. Um, this one was actually, this was actually combed, just for you know, well, I'll tell you the details more when I, on the short, well, maybe I should tell you now because the short you don't get much time, do we? But anyway, yeah, a comb and then expanded. Just a hair comb, you know, ordinary hair comb. Uh, what else can I say? We did have some interest in these leech wheels. I look, people write to me, but yeah, I mean, unless people can put down some money, we can't really, I can't really go forward with them. So it doesn't look like we're going to get any made this year. Now my carpenter tells me that, well, don't worry about it, Simon. I'm fully booked up anyway till next year now. So I don't know if we'll be even making any more. We'll see. Okay, folks, I hope that video was helpful to you. As always, remember, keep practicing, because it's in the practicing that you build muscle memory, all right? And muscle memory plays a huge part in basically most hand works. Stuff that you do with your hands, whether it's playing the guitar, or driving a car, or making a pot on the wheel. It's, it's practice builds muscle memory. Just remember that. Okay, thanks for joining us. Keep practicing. I'll see you later. Bye for now. Dee, 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 dee.